Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Ablo with another pain to power video. This one is kind of an extreme example of pain to power, uh, but I think it's apt uh, because sometimes I think the lives of others can be very instructive uh, for our own. Uh, and so I wanted to present a couple, uh, a couple examples of people who stay the course and whose uh, experiences with dealing with pain, disappointment, uh, trials and tribulations ultimately pay off, but they had to go through the trouble, the pain initially. Uh, here's one example. Uh, I've talked about this fellow in other videos as well, but Robert Persig, Robert Persig, who wrote Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, uh, he submitted his manuscript to something like 120 publishers who said no. Now that's a lot of pain, isn't it? Think of all those rejections coming his way. But in the end, something like the 121st publisher said, okay, sure, here's $3,000. That's the standard advance for this book. Uh, but the book's important and money isn't the point with a book like this. And Persig agreed and he took that advance and the book was published, sold millions of copies, became a true classic. Uh, but think of all the trouble, all the pain he went through, 120 rejection letters in order to get to publication. Now, that's the power in, in not saying, forget it, I'm done at 50 rejection letters. He reinforced his determination. He became that guy who wouldn't give up. And the story of the publication becomes even more brilliant and wonderful because the book comes to be despite all of that naysaying, all those rejections. So the power is in the book because he wouldn't stand down. He wouldn't give up. Another example that comes to mind is Van Gogh. And listen, uh, Vincent Van Gogh sold, well, almost no paintings during his lifetime, but he believed he would change art forever. He believed it in his heart, so he never gave up. That's incredible power. And I don't think we can deny that somehow that power got transmuted into the fact that it really happened. He really did change art forever. His canvases really are prized to the extent that they hang in the world's most impressive museums and command incredible sums. Why? Well, partly because the power is in them. Of course, the talent is too. But the whole of the story, his pain being transmuted into power, he didn't get to see it, right? That's why this is such an extreme example. He didn't get to see the way that all of his pain manifested as power. But somehow deep inside himself, he knew it. And I think the lessons of folks like Persig and Van Gogh, perhaps people wouldn't compare the two, but they both show that if you're willing to go through a lot of pain, tremendous power can come out of that. You have to have faith that that can occur. I want you to have that faith because I believe it for you. I believe that if you tap into what really matters to you, whether it's ideas and ideals, whether it's talents, whether it's love for other people, whatever it is, the truth about that commitment, the powerful truth about that will come out in the end. Yes, you may go through painful chapters, no question. But don't forget that the power never dissipates. It's like a law of physics or a law of pain to power. None of that powerful perspective is ever wasted. It's in the story. It's part of your narrative forever. And you know what? I always say it at the end of these videos, it matters whether you show that kind of power, that, that sort of staying power, the stick to itness. Why? Because in the end, that's going to define who you are. And you're the one listening to yourself. You're the one who's deriving lessons from your refusal to give in, your refusal to give up, your refusal to stand down. That's what I hope for you in the next pages and chapters of your story. And every moment that we walk through pain, we have to remember we're on our way to power. Your story matters. We're going to make it a powerful story.